Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to continue to test more materials on the Xtool F1 Ultra and if you haven't seen the part one I will link it below the video as well as this amazing machine. Let's start this video with a piece of cardstock and it's flying. This card officially identifies as a butterfly. That's because I have the air purifier going, so I had to attach the card with some masking tape. But what a beautiful sight that was. I tried to engrave it first and then later I did a cutout and both were pretty impressive. Here I'm cutting this 300 GSM craft cut and again I'm impressed with how well the machine cut even the small details. The next test was to engrave on this white craft jewelry box and also the card insert. Then I engraved this brown craft jewelry box and I loved how the engraving came out. And I thought I would try to personalize this paper padded envelope and it sadly didn't work as the outer paper was too thin for engraving. But when I tried on the bottom of the envelope where it wasn't padded, it worked fine. And of course another craft box. I basically wanted to show you all sorts of cards and materials just in case you wanted to try that too. And yes, I am in the middle of setting up my new business, but it's not called Toad's Tool Jewelry. I just came up with the name, liked it and run with it throughout this testing. Here is yet another box, but this one has a layer of blue paint and it's somewhat glossy. And here we go onto wood. So this first one is a piece of three millimeter basswood plywood. I'm trying to cut pumpkins out of it to make earrings. I struggled a bit to find the right settings to cut plywood. Either it wasn't cutting all the way through or the edges were a bit too burnt for my liking. At the end I got there but it's still not ideal. I wonder if it had something to do with me not cutting the pumpkins in the center of the machine because so far I've noticed that it is the strongest in the center. I then got a piece of 3mm birch plywood and cut out this earring. It was in the center of the machine as you can see and the cut was fine although the edges are a little dark. But considering the details it did a great job. Having said that if anyone watching has the perfect settings for cutting birch plywood on the Xtool F1 Ultra please share them in the comments I would love to try them. Mm. 
Next, we have this wooden coaster. And this is a walnut keyring which I engraved and I also tried to cut it which was excellent a really nice and smooth cut I guess it depends on the type of wood as well This is a piece of 2mm balsa plywood. Popsticle stick. A coated pencil. Next I engraved a sheet of cork and I must say the engraving was beautiful but when I tried to cut it it was a no-no and to this day I haven't found correct settings to cut cork and in all honesty I haven't tried since this testing and I probably never will if I need to cut it then I will probably use a different machine I engraved this wooden keychain And lastly, we have this photo paper. The settings on my part are not the best. I think the actual photo could be edited better for this to work, but I left it at that and I will try another time. I really hope you have enjoyed watching this video and that you found the settings helpful. And although I have been pretty busy setting up my new shop and working on new products and stuff, I would like to start posting more consistently on this channel. You know, just like the good old days. Perhaps not every week, but I will do my best. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye!